Ah. Hello my loves, it's Zia. Welcome back to my channel. This video is about Harry Potter makeup from Storybrooke Cosmetics. Earlier this year, I want to say, maybe like in January or February. Oh, I think it was February. Pretty sure it was February. They announced that they were going to make a Harry Potter themed makeup palette. Eyeshadow palette, more specific. So I have the eyeshadow palette and I also have the brush set, not connected to the eyeshadow eye eye palette necessarily, but Storybrooke Cosmetics did come out with Harry Potter wand eyeshadow brushes and I never got them until now. These were actually a surprise, so very, very sweet of my fiance. I didn't know about it until they got here. Look at the packaging, look at the box. The box is so pretty. Look at it, it comes in a little pouch. There's a little card that comes with it. It says, once upon a time, there were three sisters who never stopped believing in fairy tales and they all lived happily ever after. Thank you so much for ordering. We truly appreciate your business. Bandy, Missy, and Erin. I love it when packages come with cards like these. They just make me happy. So we're gonna open the bag. Open the bag. It's a blue velvet bag. So like in true wizard style, velvet. And oh my God, these are so heavy. Holy shit. Um, they all come in plastic. So I'm gonna pull the plastic off so that you don't keep on hearing this. So it comes with five brushes. They all feel really nice. Like, I don't know if they're like the best eyeshadow brushes. I would, brushes? Brushes, I prefer my brushes to be a little more dense. I feel like I have better control that way. But these, they seem really, really nice. So here are the different ones. They are beautiful. So freaking pretty. Ah. That was a weird noise. I'm so sorry. I'm just so excited. So excited. Oh my god. This is like such a sliver and wand. <laughs> but I feel like if I had a wand, this is how it would look. I love these. They're beautiful, beautiful brushes. And I don't know if I would like actually use them because I don't want to ruin them. Now we're actually going to move on to the eyeshadow palette. They sent it in a really big box. I don't know why it's so big. But it's okay. I think they just did a lot of padding because this is like really important stuff here. So here's the packaging. It doesn't have the Storybook S on the inside like this one does. It's like inverted. Like the outside of this one is... Hmm. I wonder if they could have just had it the other way because it looks like they could just fold this whichever way they want. Bubble wrap. Oh, this is a bubble wrap that doesn't want to... Oh, there you go. There you go. You have to work a little harder for it. It doesn't feel as fulfilling. If I ever got to a point where subscribers are sending me things, I would be like, you want to send me bubble wrap and just bubble wrap and nothing but bubble wrap? Here's the bag that it comes in. Oh my goodness, their packaging is just the most adorable thing. Here it is. It looks like a book. So it says, Storybook Cosmetics, Witchcraft and Wizardry. It is gorgeous. Let's open this baby up and see. Oh my god. <gasps> Do you see these? So there are 12 colors in this palette. They are all absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna hold it this way. That's really, really pretty. That blue, mm, mm, and the green, those are so pretty. Obviously Slytherin, obviously Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff needs a better color on here. Where is my Hufflepuff? I'm a Hufflepuff. I want representation, damn it. So I'm going to start reading off the colors. The font is really hard to read but they also have it written on the backs of the slide cover. So I'm gonna read it off of there. Broomstick, sorcerer, cloak, potions, that makes sense. Prophecy, Salem, Merlin, that makes sense too. <laughs> Bewitched, cauldron, spell book, charms, and jinx. These are gorgeous colors, it kinda hurts to uh, dip my finger into these and do the swatching, but I'm going to do it for you guys anyway because that's what this is for. So let's see how Broomstick looks. Oh my god. Oh my god. Feels so soft and buttery. Like you see how much is still on my fingers? Do you see? Do you see it? Amazing. This is so soft. It's so soft. Oh my god. It's kind of, it's almost like a cream shadow. I cannot believe it. Look at that. And here is Cloak. Cloak is a really pretty gray. Yeah, on my like 
really pale days, I would probably put that in my crease. Some of these really feel like velvet. Like, I'm not even kidding. Okay, uh, Prophecy doesn't have very much color payoff, at least not on my skin tone. So I had to like go over it a couple times. And Salem is actually a purpley shade. In person, it looks like a slight plummy shade, but in the palette, it just looks brown. Either way, it's a beautiful color and I would definitely, definitely, definitely use it. So next, I'm going to swatch Merlin, Bewitched, and Cauldron. Bewitched is kind of that gold shade, but it's kind of like a rose gold and not a gold gold. At least that's what it looks like before it's swatched, so... <laughs> Ooh, hey, okay. I take back the Hufflepuff thing. That could work for Hufflepuff, at least in my book. <laughs> Bewitched, so far, is my favorite color. Do you see this? Do you see this? Do you see this? Oh my god. Whew. I don't even care. Oh, look at that. Hey. Next, I'm going to swatch Spellbook, Charms, and Jinx. One, two, and three. Charms kind of fell apart really, really easily. Um, it just like came right up. It's really soft. I should have been a little bit more, uh, more light-handed there. But there it is. There's Spellbook, Charms, and what the hell is this? Oh my goodness, that is some uh, self-tanning stuff that to spray. Hello. Got on my arm. Not good. I have to wash that off later. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Spellbook. Right here. Charms. And Jinx. Jinx is like this really pretty iridescent like unicorn shade. I feel like there's so many colors going on. It's kind of like unicorn blood. That's what it looks like. I love all the colors. I really, really do. They all feel so soft. The only one that doesn't have really good color payoff is Prophecy. That is right here. Like, you can't see it at all. And it also feels the hardest out of all of the colors. You really can't see it at all. It's like I just kept a blank space in between this swatch and this one. But everything else is amazing. Plus Prophecy, I would probably just use to set whatever primer I'm putting on my eyelid. So, like I was saying, beautiful stuff. And the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. It's such a beautiful, beautiful palette. If you are a Harry Potter fan and like getting things that are Harry Potter-esque, definitely try to get this palette. Try. These colors are just like out of this world. The color payoff is so good on almost every single one, except for Prophecy. That one really let me down. But I am finally looking past it because everything else looks absolutely beautiful. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you have not already. I make new videos every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I would love to have you guys as part of my tiny little growing YouTube family. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.